So today we will see another concept in computer graphics that is the shadow mask technique. So the topic that I am going to cover in this video is what exactly the color CRT monitor is and what are the basic techniques of the CRT, the cathode ray tube and what is shadow mask technique in color CRT. And finally we will see the advantages or disadvantages of using the shadow mask technique. Okay, so now let's see what is exactly the color CRT monitor is. You all know that CRT is nothing but the cathode ray tube, right? It's a cathode ray tube. The color CRT monitor displays image. It is going to display the image using the combination of phosphorus which emits different colored light. So that a combination of phosphorus that are present in the CRT, uh, CRT so that is going to uh, emit a different, different color light, okay, which emits different color light. From the combination of emitted range of light, colors can be produced from different phosphorus. So, there are two basic techniques for displaying the color CRT, okay, color using the CRT. We are going, uh, there are two basic techniques are present for displaying the color, okay, using CRT. That is, the two techniques are beam penetration and the shadow mask method. So, these beam penetration and the shadow mask methods are used for displaying the color using C cathode ray tube. So, with the help of the cathode ray tube only, it is going to display the colors. A different colors can be displayed. So, now let's see what does this beam penetration and the shadow mask method. Beam penetration method. It is similar to the normal CRT only, whatever the beam penetration is there, it is similar to the cathode ray tube only, cathode ray tube only and it uses only one electron gun. Remember students, the beam penetration uses only one electron gun. It uses only one electron gun and it displays the colored images by using the random scan monitor. So, with the help of the random scan monitor only, the colored, it displays the colored images. The beam penetration uses the random scan monitor. Okay. So, this is one of the difference for this when compared to the shadow mask. So, in the beam penetration, only one electron gun will be used. And the beam penetration is going, uh, displays the colored images only by using the random scan monitors. It, it uses two layers of phosphorus. One is the red and the green. Only two layers of phosphorus will be there. One is red and another is the green, which is coated from the inside of the CRT screen. The color depends on how far the electron beam penetrates for, uh, phosphorus layers. It depends upon the speed. These two combinations of two colors produces four colors. One is red, green, orange and yellow. Actually, the red and green, two phosphorus layers are there. So, whenever the beam is penetrating the CRT screen, which are coated with this red and green, so these two combinations of two colors are producing four colors, red, green, orange and yellow. A beam of slowly moving electrons can exist only the outer red layer. A beam of very fast electron penetrates through red layer and can exist the inner green layer. An intermediate beam speed, okay, an intermediate beam speed combination of red as well as the green light are emitted to show two additional colors that is orange and yellow. That's why it is producing four colors, okay, with only one electron gun it is producing four colors, okay. The speed of electrons and hence the screen color at any point, these two are the speed of electron as well as the screen color at any point. So, these two are controlled by beam acceleration voltage. So, only with the help of beam acceleration voltage, the speed of electron as well as the screen color at any point will be controlled. So, this is about the beam penetration. Now, let's come into the shadow mask method. So, what is this shadow mask method? A shadow mask is commonly used technique. When compared to the beam penetration, the shadow mask is commonly used technique. Why? With this, use, uh, this shadow mask uses the raster scan system. Whereas beam penetration is uses the random scan system, but shadow mask uses the raster scan system. It produces a much wider range of colors as compared to beam penetration. Beam is producing only the four, color, four colors, but here the shadow mask is producing a wide range of colors. 
it is mainly used in the television sets and the monitors because the television set uh, TVs and the monitor screens everything will be display with so many colors it's a combination of so many colors so that's why the shadow mask technique are used in these places in this the pixel is made up of three colors because of these three colors only it uses the three electron guns in the beam penetration only one electron gun we are using but in the shadow mass technique we are using the three electron guns one for producing each color so each gun is producing a single gun. so one one for each color point each color a phosphorus dot emits a red color the second emits a green light and the third emits a blue light okay so red green light uh, green and blue lights okay three colors are producing in this way the crt has three electron guns there are, there are three electron guns will be there in this way crt has three electron guns one for each color point and a shadow mask grid just behind the phosphorus coated screen with the tiny holes in triangular shape this shadow mask is having a metal screen it is having a metal screen which is placed before the phosphorus screen generally used to call as a shadow mask. So now let's see the working principle of this uh, shadow mask technique. A shadow mask consisting of metal plate. So that uh, a device is consisting of a metal plate with a tiny holes which is present inside the color monitor. And it directs a beam of electrons. A beam of electrons are uh, directs it has the three guns electron guns will be there so from there the beam of electrons are produced and the beam hits only at a particular point and displays a resulting picture the three guns present in device directs the beam to shadow mask which allows them to pass the shadow mask displays, uh, displays a wide range of picture when compared to the beam penetration right so now let's see the advantage and disadvantage of using this shadow mask the main advantage of using this technique is shadow mask display, displays a wide range of pictures, right? Whereas in the beam penetration, it is only uh, uh, based on the four colors, it is generating a picture, okay? But the uh, shadow mask will display a wider range of pictures. The displayed pictures are realistic in nature. While looking at the picture, it seems to be a realistic. So that is because of this HD quality, this shadow mask is producing a clear cut pictures. It shows is a real, realistic in nature. It provides an inline arrangement of RGB colors. Then what about the disadvantages? It is difficult to cover all three beams on the same hole because all the electron guns are pointing on the same hole. Okay. So it is difficult to cover all the three beams on the same hole. And it has a poor resolution. The re resolution is also poor. Not that much of HD quality, but it is... Uh, it is generating a wide range of pictures, but the resolution is somewhat compared to other things. It's a poor resolution. So this is about the shadow mask technique students. Still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.